This is my new addition to the to the ride. Got my fuzzy dice. <laughs> I need to do something about this. It's kind of in an awkward spot. I'd either want it up higher or I want it lower. I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to keep the dice so that it's below the you know you can see the wipers. So I wanna have it so that it doesn't really interfere with my view. I don't want to get pulled over. But it looks good, you know? The white dice and I get the I'm all pimped out here. <laughs> anyway, alright, let's go. Be strong. Be strong. Hey guys, good morning. Going to head down to Food Lion, pick up some groceries. <clears throat> we did the order online thing. It's already paid for. All I got to do is pull up and open the trunk. That is cool. Gonna give it a try. So uh, we did it at other grocery stores. This is our first time at Food Lion. Let me give it a try. So I got ordered the MFERs that hold those baffles open. And uh, I gotta find a place to put them on. I don't have uh, jack stands. So I gotta find a place that I can get these put on. But it'll be pretty good, it'll sound like that, you know? I like the rumble. And I watched a, I watched a video where a guy cut open the exhaust, the stock exhaust of the Challengers. Well, actually, the Scat Packs. They're glass packs. Those mid mufflers are glass packs. So I don't know why you would want to remove them. Those things sound pretty cool. Um, it's just a matter of uh, hold, holding the baffles open and keeping that sound. I like that sound. I don't like that ticking sound, but anyway. All right, see you in a little bit. Kind of like Harris Teeter better. I pull right up in front of the store and they come right out. Um, I called, I don't know, maybe about seven minutes ago. Not a big long way, but haven't seen anybody yet. I called, he called this number. Yeah, I haven't even unlocked my trunk yet. But, um, I'd imagine they come out here and put it in the trunk like the other place does. You guys like Molly Hatchet? Oh man. He's like a one hit wonder, but I remember when I was in college. That, now I'm dating myself. That was. That was awesome. Cranking Molly Hatchet and cruising in my Camaro. I had a 400 small block in my Camaro. So we pulled the 350 up, put a 400 in it. And uh, it was a pretty good motor. But uh, yeah, I missed that car. 70 Camaro. I remember the seats weren't high back. They were like low back seats. It was, it was a little different than a I didn't have seat belts in it. I don't know what, the car must have been a rebuilt wreck or something. I only paid 500 for it. Didn't have seat belts. People would freak out. They get in my car, I had all this horsepower, didn't have any seat belts. <laughs> that was awesome though. But it, it sounded pretty good when you revved it. Oh man, it was pretty, pretty tough. I put the engine in, I didn't realize I needed that flywheel. I used the 350 flywheel and the flywheels were different on the 400 small block versus the 350, the harmonic balancer, um, it's the whole car like shook. And I quickly put the new flywheel in it and uh, it was a lot better. But it was a fun ride. Uh, some of my fun cars, yeah, that, I loved my, uh, I had an IROC Z, that was a pretty good car and I had a Firebird Formula. I think my favorite car was that Firebird Formula, believe it or not, uh, 19. 80 formula dog motor had a 301 four barrel in it it just uh didn't have much power at all it sounded good when you'd step on it but it didn't go anywhere um didn't have much horsepower at all but uh good looking car man oh man i wouldn't mind getting another one of those just a, it was just a fun to cruise around car seats didn't recline though which was kind of a pain especially in my younger days i would have liked the reclining seats but it's amazing. I used to fit in the back seat of these cars <laughs> when we were little. 
when we were younger. Anyway, too much information. So I don't know. I've been here for uh, almost 10 minutes. I guess they're shopping my groceries now. I thought they just put it in the fridge somewhere. When I called, they said, okay, we'll let them know. So, all right. Let's see how long this takes. We already paid for it, so it's just a matter of them putting it in my car. Pickup time was at 12. It's uh, it's 12.21 right now. So, anyway. All right. See you in a little. All right. So, it is now 12.30. A guy pulled up next to me, got his groceries, and then she came over and asked me, and he said, she said, did you call? And I said, yep. <laughs> I guess uh, she never got the memo, so that's uh, so it's been 20 minutes now. Wow. All right, I don't know what happened there. So now that she knows, we'll have to see how long this takes. Must have been a little mix up, because once when the girl knew I was there, it didn't take long at all. It's 12.34 now, but the whole ordeal took me a while. I don't know who answered the phone or that's the kids today, you know. I guess uh, maybe his break, it was break time for him or something. <laughs> yeah. Or he couldn't reach her. Maybe he couldn't find her and then forgot. Yeah. Oh, well. So I got the groceries. I don't like that um, when you buy alcohol, they don't, they're supposed to just confirm that you're of age, but they're taking photos of my... Uh, the back of my um, driver's license canceled. I don't know. I notice with my car, a lot of times when I turn the steering wheel, I hit the button. Um, yeah, I don't like them writing down my date of birth or entering it into the computer and stuff like that. I want them to just like look at it and that's it, you know, because if you pay with a check card or whatever and now they got that information now they got your date of birth i don't i just don't think that's right i think we'll have to pass a law that says they can't do that but anyway okay cool now we'll uh head home and now we're gonna go through the process of spraying everything with hydrogen peroxide which is what i use and uh you gotta be real careful. My mother-in-law, she's elderly, and I don't want her to get corona. And, uh, yeah. Something about this virus, there's more to it than what we're being told. So, um, it could have some long-lasting effects. I think that's why they're really, really concerned about this. And I know a lot of people are protesting because they want to open every everything up. And, you know, we're going to have to do that, but... Uh, you know, I think the mask thing is going to be really important. And these masks that we're, most people are wearing, they're not going to protect. They're not, I don't know. They'll help a little bit, but really, they're just for show. Unless you've got an N95. And even that, that's only 95%. All right, see you in a little bit. It's supposed to be 80 degrees here today. Look at this guy. A little bit breezy. I am headed to, uh, to Cary, North Carolina, just on the other side of Raleigh drop off uh, LP 700 um, I bought this a while ago it's a station monitor from a ham station it shows waveforms um, power output uh, trapezoidal you can show if your amplifier is linear it's, uh, it's a pretty cool station monitor I paid a lot of money for this thing uh, with the three modules and the monitor it was $1,200 uh, taking a loss, I'm gonna sell it. Uh, things like you know, almost brand new, but um, I have to purge some of the stuff in my ham shack. I got way too much stuff. So anyway, uh, to a good friend of mine I used to work with, and uh, start with a cold start. And uh, I haven't put the uh, MFERs on yet, but I'm looking forward to my car sounding like that all the time. So anyway, uh, let's go for a ride. See, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps as far as the algorithms on uh, YouTube. And uh, I'll give you a little throttle. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you something. My hair is definitely gone along. And I don't know if I'm going to cut it. Y'all like Jay Giles, man? Give me a thumbs up if you like Jay Giles. First concert I ever went to. Uh, 
so I got my MFERs. I got the extreme version because I want I want this area to be covered in case dirt or something gets in there. Um, yeah, this is like I was wondering about this. So this is like a piece of nylon, so the spring doesn't squeak or something. But anyway, um, yeah. By the way, these are stainless. I uh, checked it with a magnet, and I got all the hardware right here. Looks like they gave me a nice pen. Um, I got my Loctite. I got the Allen key, and I got my eight millimeter here, all set to go. I was gonna go and you know. I don't have a, I have a jack, but it's not really for my car. So I was gonna buy a jack and jack stands. And then I found out, you know, you have to have this special little thing to lift the car up from the um, pinch welds and the challengers, of course, it's a little smaller so and they don't sell it. So you have to buy from ZL1 add-ons and you know ZL1 add-ons, it's four times the price as buying it from anywhere else. So. Um, I said the heck with it and I'll just pay somebody else to put the thing on so um, I called the place that does my oil changes on, on my wife's car used to do it on my car now I get my oil changes for free at the dealer for a couple years so I haven't seen him in a while but I called him up and I know the uh, the regional manager so he was really cool he's like yeah I'm here cool man bring it on down so I'm gonna bring the car down probably let it sit for a little bit so it cools off um, but yeah He's not very far away, so it shouldn't get too hot, but I'm gonna put these plates on. You can see it holds the baffle on right there. You just basically pull the motor off, stick this thing in, put the put the motor back onto that, get your stands off some stuff. So, I got my Loctite, got my thread, you know, I got everything right here. Gonna hook it up, it'll sound like I got the cold start all the time. So, um, I saw a video, a guy cut open one of these mufflers. I was curious, well, what's what's the deal with the stock mufflers? The stock mufflers on these scat packs are glass packs. They're basically straight through. They've got holes on the, outs on the outside of the in inner pipe that goes to just glass wadding. So there's no restriction. Matter of fact, according to Magnaflow, there's actually less restriction because if you put a straight pipe in there, um, you've got more surface area that slows down the exhaust than it does if you had like a, you know, a glass pack in there that's just going straight through. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put this on. And I and I don't want that raspy sound. So I like the way it sounds with the cold start. I'm gonna put this on, it'll sound like that all the time. I think it'll be pretty cool. Right now it, um, you know, if I hit the track mode, it opens them up, but it doesn't open them up all the way until you go full throttle or whatever. Because I noticed that even in track mode, as I backed into the driveway and I just, you know, put the car in park, it uh, quiets down. So hopefully, uh, yeah, so the baffles do close even in track mode. So I don't have that um, that module people are putting in to, you know, make your lights flash and all that crap. I'm not, I'm not going to put any of that stuff in there. So I'm just going to do this. See how it works. If I like it, great. If I don't, I can always pull them back out and sell them or whatever. But I think they're going to be pretty cool. All right. By the way, so it's see 80, how this goes. Uh, 85 degrees out, and my intake air temperature is 87 with the uh, Hellcat air, air box. So that comes out handy. Anyway, uh, almost at this place. We'll see what's going on. So, uh, I'm going to have to let it cool down a little bit, I think. Right, so I got the MFERs on. Car is in uh, auto mode. Oh, and you can definitely, you can hear it. It's real bassy sounding. But I'm in, you know, regular mode. So I got to tell you, on the um, driver's side MFER, you know, he couldn't get the thing to go in there right. The, uh, something just wasn't aligned right. So he moved... He had to basically take a pair of pliers and bend that little thing that was lip that goes into the slot that holds the uh, baffle in the right position. He had to bend that a little bit. And it's stainless, so it was kind of a bitch. So just be aware of that if you guys are putting this MFER on, that, you know, it's got to go in there, the slot, right? Also, as he was tightening it up, he's like, geez, like, it's tight, but it can keep turning and he doesn't. You know, don't want to over tighten. He's worried about the plastic. So, but we use the blue Loctite and stuff. So, but I can definitely hear it. Now, let me put it in track mode here. 
because even in track mode it was louder but it wasn't always loud all the time it was we were like moving in different positions but uh, can't really step on it here but uh, you know I got cars in front of me so we let him get ahead of me a little bit I'll give him some gas Before, when these things were open and they weren't opening all the way, they're all opening up all the way now. So, pretty cool. So, I'm pretty happy with these. Um, yeah, I didn't want to chop my exhaust. I got glass packs in there. Why would I do that? So, uh, no issue with drone or anything. It sounds good. Definitely a little bit louder. I got my window open too. So, you know, let me roll the window up here. I can hear a little bit of cracks and pops and so but I'm in track mode right now, let me put it in auto. Okay, four cylinder. I mean I can still hear it, but no, it's no no problem. Oh she figures this guy's gonna go this way. Oh yeah yeah. Alright, so um pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with these things. Oh what is he gonna do? Oh he's gonna cut through the gas station so we don't have to wait for the light. All right, so the car's hot. It's not a cold start, but as you can hear it, it sounds almost as loud as it is when you do a cold start. A little bit less, but I think because of the RPM or whatnot. I have to compare it to my cold starts. All right, later. All right, we're gonna go for a little drive here and get the MFVRs on. I think there's a car meet tonight, but I'm not exactly sure. I saw it as I was kind of scrolling through and then and then I found it again. If you guys are the same as me and have a hard time finding these meetups, because there's like a zillion Facebook pages, Instagram and everything else, I just can't figure out why am I wearing these? I can put my sunglasses on. Um, but yeah, I'm fi having a hard time finding, finding the meetups. <clears throat> and then the other thing is on my Facebook, it used to show, it used to show, you're not just my friends, it used to show my group posts, but now it doesn't do that anymore. Uh, oh, and by the way, I put these, uh, in case you can see it on my glasses, I put this like rubber gasket stuff behind it. Same stuff that came with the louvers uh, to keep air from coming around my glasses. Something. Right so let me hold on. Let me go. Let him go by. Anyway, um, yeah, I put these little rubber things behind my glasses. Let me show you. See that? And uh, cause. There was some doctor or something that said that he got COVID-19 and he thinks it got in through his eyes. But, I don't know. You know, what are you going to do? I don't think I'm going to get it from in my car, but... I go out to meets and stuff. I'll be wearing my sunglasses. But even then, it doesn't really do a full meet up to my face. I used to have a set of glasses. I think they were designed for, like, motorcycle driving or whatever. And it had... They sealed pretty good around my face. And those are... Those are pretty nice. Uh, I just ordered a new set of glasses. I broke my my uh, Maui gyms, and oh my god, I didn't realize these things are like 250 bucks now. So, 268 dollars with shipping and tax. I don't even know shipping was free, but tax and all. So, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. A lot of people don't believe this virus thing. A lot of my friends don't, but. Um, just uh, playing it safe. Now I feel a little bit of a sore throat. I'm worried now. <laughs> when I was getting the MFERs put on, you know, I was down. I went down below in the pit area, <clears throat> but I wasn't really that close to anybody. But I don't know. I, I, I definitely don't want to get this. All right, so here we go. Let's get out of here. Um, 
found a new house gonna go take a look at it see if I like it it's in a pretty cool neighborhood a pretty well established neighborhood um, it was lowered in price it's the lowest house in the neighborhood lowest priced house in the neighborhood which is good because most of those houses are very expensive so uh, cool come along check it out hi leaving my neighborhood y'all don't speed in your known neighborhood I don't know, understand why people do that go slow through your neighborhood where kids are all walking around and stuff don't be a dick do your burn offs after you leave your neighborhood in someone else's neighborhood <laughs> anyway got my Jay Giles band on got my fuzzy dice and um, I got the uh, MFVRs on let me put down the windows a little bit you can hear it low rumble that's an auto mode you know so I don't want that raspy sound I don't want it to be loud and obnoxious I want it to be low and slow and deep is that white challenger in front of me um, so anyway yeah I'm gonna go uh, take a ride over to by where my work is and then I'm gonna key in the address I'm just kind of curious in what the commute would be uh, if I have to go into the office, you know, so it's a nice day out 80 degrees Very high humidity. They're talking about possible thunderstorms later on today. I took my car to the car wash real quick because uh, It was kind of looking bad and when even right after it was washed I can see all these water spots and stuff still on there So uh, I might have to polish or uh, I'll have to see what happens after I wash the car next time See if it still has the water stains. I, if they're still there, I might, uh, I might have to do polishing, or I might just go with a cleaner wax, cleaner wax one time. Just get that taken care of, and then uh, let it run for a week or two, and then I'll wash it again. And this time, I'll put down more of the uh, sealant there from Turtle Wax, the uh, ceramic. This stuff's pretty cool. Anyway, my wife's car is looking pretty good. Her, her hood needs to be detailed. It was like that when she got it. I don't know who washes it at the dealership. Don't ever let the dealership wash your car. Um, you just you just don't know who's going to be doing it that day, right? Anyway. Alright. A lot of cars out and about. And uh, see you in a little bit. Those of you that want to know why I sold a perfectly good Mazda 6 for a... Um, with a scat back. In one mile, turn right on Durham Road. It's uh, it's hard to explain, but let me just tell you, I already raced like two people, and uh, another challenge uh, charger comes up next to me. We get the high five, you know. So it's like the, it is the brotherhood thing. It's uh, it's it's a, uh, I don't know. You just gotta drive one. All right, I'm gonna get in front of this guy because I'm not gonna wait all day. But um. Yeah, so this house that I'm gonna look at is 20 minutes from my work. So that'll be good. And I guess see how close it is to Sue's work. I think it's probably gonna be maybe 25 minutes or so. Uh, could be a little bit longer actually, depending on traffic. I gotta watch that. Anyway, uh, in case you're wondering, I got the sheepskin seat covers. I don't have the cooled seating going right now. Um, it's a little bit warm, but I'm not sweaty. You know, your your body can breathe through this a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on the cooled seats. Actually, the vented seat is running right now on low. But it doesn't have perforation on this, so it doesn't really come through. So yeah, I might have to take these off um, as things get warmer. Anyway, so I gotta turn down 98, which way do I go? Change these roads right around. On Road. All this stuff's changed. I do like these MFERs, man. No matter what mode I'm in. For 10 minutes, I'm in track three, mode right road. now because I was kind of running somebody. But but even in economy mode, it sounds uh, deep and bassy. It doesn't have that raspy sound. I gotta put the GoPro somewhere and drive by so you guys can hear what it sounds like and why I didn't go with the mid muffler lead. I think cars should be low 
bassy and rumbly and not very loud until you stomp on them then they can scream all right later so i wasn't planning on new neighborhood new construction but depending on what they're selling them for um legacy homes 919-781-3800 legacy custom homes Dot com. I don't know. I have any idea what these houses are selling for. In 1,000 feet, make a U-turn. So these houses aren't nearly as impressive as the other street over. I'm navigating to a house right now, but this is some new developments, right? So depending on what they sell these houses for might dictate what the other... Julie Wright, 849198477140. What's with a one car garage here? Is there other? I don't understand. Oh, two cars over on that side. Wow, I like the looks of this one here. This is really pretty. That's probably not. Is that for sale? 2245? I don't know. Well, probably not. I don't think I got a goalie net here. Kind of up high. This would be a good spot for ham radio, too. Legacy Custom Homes. Hmm. No idea what these houses are selling for. Anyway, I'm navigating to something, so let me go to where I'm navigating and check that out. But this is uh, this is good to know. So yeah, these these houses here are really nice. I'm gonna have to see how much these are selling for. Really pretty area and pond. Turn left on Viceroy Drive. Let's see if we can show you some of these other houses. Guys use, I'm using ways. I like that I can run that right home. In a quarter of a mile, turn right on Old Creed Moor Road. Three car garage right there. Well, that would be ideal as a three car garage because uh, Pat doesn't want to leave her car out. stretch a little bit but I don't want to go turn right on Old Creed Moor Road I definitely don't want to go over 600 but anyway okay so let's go check out this other house All right, so I like it already that this street is a dead end no outlet um, in 900 feet you'll arrive at 4853 Winterwood doctor your destination will be on your left. <laughs> so it's an established neighborhood. Real pretty. You've arrived. Destination is on your left. Oh, it's down the hill. I don't know about water. I worry about water drainage and stuff. Um, and ham operators don't want to sit on the downside of the hill. So they get a little brochure there. I'm going to stop and grab this brochure. Check this out. So I'm not all that impressed. I don't like houses that the, they slope way down into the driveway and it's a garage <laughs> like if you lose your brakes you go through your garage uh, that reminds me remember ferris bueller's day off the <laughs> guy had the car they had it up on the <laughs> on the jack stands and fell off the, oh my gosh but that's what it reminded me of um i don't mind if it goes up a little bit 
a little bit. I don't want a driveway that's at a steep angle, and then when you get to the top right by the garage, it's still at an angle. I want I want a level. Because what if I got to work on my car or something? Um, I want, and I want to do it outside. Yeah, I'm not impressed here. But I like the other place. I want to go back to the other neighborhood and um, I want to go back to the other neighborhood and see what I like there and then see how much they are. Monday night in New York. 